and action. The best way to learn photography is through practice, but the trick is that practice may not necessarily be your own. The masters of photography are happy to share the secrets of their work. And today I'm going to show you a new selection of who's who are worth a closer look, whose videos bring not only inspiration, but also useful skills, who share tips and who are fun to watch. My name is Pavel Batulin, hit subscribe and let's start. In today's video, landscape photography, my favorite genre of photography, where the compositions sometimes prompt by nature itself, and it often prevents you from taking the shot by the unpredictable weather conditions. Street photography, one of the most challenging genres, where the photographer's skills meet the skills of a stealth tourist. Forest photography, where only a true master can see a shot in the green house around him, and where will also be one very valuable bonus tip, but more on that later. Landscape photography, first man photography, aka Adam Karnash. Adam has been running a channel about photography for almost nine years. I love his channel not only because Adam is a great photographer and finds great shots in different locations around the UK, but mostly because when his charismatic mastermind talks about the photography as a creative process, about social media and, say, about nature, his conclusions are much the same as what I myself feel. With the calm and dignity of a retired police officer, Adam travels to beautiful places regardless of weather conditions, takes very talented shots and analyzes the world in its sometimes rather philosophical aspects. I highly recommend Adam's channel if you are not already subscribed to him. By the way, I'll leave links to all authors' channels in the description, where you will also find an opportunity to support my channel, if you suddenly decide that I deserve it. Let's jump to street photography. Mike Chudley. He is a young and very talented photographer, street photographer, who shoots both digital and film. Watching his work is a true meditative pleasure, and I'm really interested in his choice of compositions, his work with contrasts, and so on. He shoots POV of his walks through cities, and I highly recommend you to watch London and New York's uh, episodes. We are incredible videos that every aspiring street photographer should watch. attention to the choice of music in most street photography videos. It's the choice of track playing in the background that determines the mood with which the viewer watches this video. But to be used on YouTube, music must fulfill one critical requirement. It must be copyright free. That's why I use Invader Elements. This site is a real cheat code for creators. There are video footages, copyright free music, presets, video assets, for Premiere Pro, for example, and even fonts, and all of these for a really affordable subscription. So please follow my affiliate link in the description. If you find Invader Elements useful for your work, it will be a huge help not only for you, but I'll get some commission also. And now Forest Photo, ladies and gentlemen, Simon Baxter. Simon is one of those photographers I'd like to go into the forest with just to try to understand how his eyes works. Because when I watch his videos, I do not understand that. He just walks through an ordinary forest, stops where I would never stop, and he takes a shot that I would never take. And then the magic starts. 
because he shows you a shot. And it's cool and very beautiful shot. How do you do it, Simon? I'm not sure if it's possible to learn to work the way he does. Maybe I'm just not talented enough, or I'm just too much in a hurry, or all of above together. But I recommend watching Simon Baxter's channel, because it's amazing, almost a magician's show. Here are the ordinary trees, and look, abracadabra, and you see a marvelously beautiful photo. Incredibly talented master. Highly recommend to subscribe. And now, this is a bonus I mentioned before photo editing. Recently, I found a channel about photo editing in Adobe Lightroom. Watched just two videos and subscribed. And I think you should take a look on this author also, Christian Mechrud. I'm sorry if, if I'm mistaken in pronunciation, really sorry. The vlog photography. Just in case a disclaimer, I've been working with graphic software for over 30 years. I've been editing photos for all these years. And for the last eight years, I edit exclusively in Adobe Lightroom. Thus, I know a thing or two about that topic. And it's pretty hard to surprise me. And here is Christian with his channel breaking into my recommendations and surprising me from the very first video. It would seem that he uses all the same tools that I use every day, but he shows how important it is to apply them exactly in the sequence he talks about. And on top of that, he suddenly uses them for purposes other than what I normally use them for. So, didn't I know about masks before? I knew all about masks and I use it every day. But did I use color masks for sharpening? God, no, never! Does Christian's methods have an effect on my pictures? Oh, yes! Should you immediately subscribe to his channel and soak up his tips like a breath of fresh air in an overheated niche of photo editing tutorials? Absolutely, right now! And what else makes sense for you to do right now? Find the subscribe and like button below this video and hit them. That way YouTube will know it makes sense to show my video to more photography enthusiasts. In the meantime, check out this episode to discover even more great photographers.